price, portability, and if it's called a netbook, then you'd think it should be able to get on the internet easily enough. While laptops started at 14, 15 inches and, and larger, these devices started off at 7 inches and portability appealed to a lot of people. Laptops, entry-level laptops at that time were around 350 pounds. These devices were at 150 pounds and the price appealed to a lot of people and it was called a netbook. Unfortunately, though, the industry in many ways misdelivered, misexecuted. The web experience on entry level netbooks was mediocre. The difficulties associated with getting on the internet turned off a lot of people. Complicated dongle setups and expensive data plans, and being relegated to a platform that was really meant for a smartphone a lot of the industry started to move up the value chain and as a result lots lost its key advantages of both portability and price. So it was no longer a 350 pound laptop versus 150 pound netbook. Since that time, today, the average netbook pricing is between 250 to 350 pounds and the average laptop has come down to 300 pounds and that's resulted in a lot of confusion. And it's not just that I'm confused, but industry studies are coming out and saying that uh, there's massive confusion out there about netbooks versus laptops. And to help add to that confusion, the guys that claimed that the internet was a fad have come back and said that netbooks don't exist. Uh, th they've come up with a much better name. It's, they say that they should instead, instead be called low-cost small notebook PCs. They're still working on the acronym for that one, though. <laughs> uh, recently, I presented to a channel partner, um, um, and uh, in advance of the presentation, I went on their website to look at their product offerings, and I created a little chart to show the difference between their entry-level netbook and their entry-level laptop. For 279 pounds, uh, they offered a 14.1 inch laptop, or for 299 pounds, for 20 pounds more, you could get a 10.1 inch netbook. The netbook has half the RAM, an older operating system, no optical drive, lower bus speed, and lower processor speed. The result is that the netbooks have become uncompetitive, they've lost their soul. So much so that when magazines today do reviews of entry-level laptops, they call those reviews netbook killers. The netbook market, having moved up and become uncompetitive, have left the entry-level segments of the netbooks vacant. And we believe that people still want low-cost, portable devices that deliver easy access to the internet in an affordable kind of way.